Hello everyone, Team Man 978 You're here because you want the full Titan's Return Fortress Maximus experience. Or, you are just stumbled on the wrong video. But, I'm about to open this guy up. I already prepped this side. And, put them all together. Get them ready for my chill review. And if you just want to skip to the review, the link is in the description if you're here by accident. But I showed this box off fully in the chill review, so like I said, click the link if you want to see that. I opened this guy up earlier, so originally these stickers were on the bottom of the box, not in here with him. You know, things that are weird. As we see, here he comes. I mean, or here he is. He comes in there like this. In fact, I took off Cerebros and Emissary, but put them back in there. But he has a plastic shell in the back and these like paper ties right there. This thing was just a fix. It was just sitting there with friction. So it's magic that that didn't fall everywhere. What I like to do for these ties, instead of wasting a whole bunch of time trying to on time, I get fingernail clippers and just pop them. That's the simplest way to do this to me. So, his arm, his left arm comes separate. And I'm not going to lie to you, this toy, I can see he's about as big as Metroplex, but for some reason I feel like he's small. That's weird, and I know he's taller. The Metroplex a little bit. I've seen reviews of them. Have this little thing that connects to his leg. That's nice and hollow feeling. <laughs> Let's get his body out of here. Come on. Cerebros didn't want to come up attached. So he's separate. There's nothing else in here. It's just empty box. So this arm comes with the clip looking like that. I'm going to look in the instructions and see if that should go in there a specific type of way. I thought it was a booklet, but this instruction sheet right here is just as big as his ass. So <laughs> that's really freaking annoying. And yay, the arm instructions doesn't really even tell you. It's not specific, so that's freaking also annoying. So basically, essentially, wish me luck. And I'm going to mention, I don't like the way that feels. I don't think anybody ever mentioned that. But, just going to plug it in. Good. It works. Let's see what else. Next we have the little mushroom pegged heliport daily thingamabob. I wonder if they were going to put um, electronic lights and sounds in there. Because look at that. That's weird. It, it definitely looks like some extra should be going on in there. I don't know. Well, maybe it's connecting to the leader glass, but... There you go with that. And this actually, what happens with this? Seems to, what did they just come? Oh, hmm. Okay. I am realizing, and I never realized this in any of the reviews, he doesn't have wheels on his legs. So, yeah, don't take that off. <laughs> Not designed to come off. <laughs> um, this leg is not like that. So, let's move on to Cerebros and Emissary. Looking at the instructions, I see that the battery cover is actually here. So, we need to unscrew this. 
and get those batteries out. Okay, I unscrewed it. Now I see this whole section. I see the pin right there. You have to pull this whole section down, which was very difficult to tell looking at that Dagon diagram. But you know how batteries work flat part up against the spring. That's not right because the spring is pushing outward. So I could tell that the batteries are in there, right? So let's go ahead and tighten this screw up. And of course, you don't have to make it too tight. Just once it stops, it should be good. So, okay, I know I'm probably going to talk about this in the review, but this ball joint is super tight on both sides. But on this side, look at that. The way this plastic is so thin and this little peg situation going on right there is not long. So, it's barely staying in there it's just staying in there by basically wheel so yeah that's a problem so now I think the only thing left to show is putting on the stickers let's start with Cerebro so he has one sticker right there 47 47 is this little Autobot sticker right there looks centered enough that's good and it looks better in person than it's looking right now on this video, so that's cool. Now we have sticker 20 here. I'm looking at this diagram. What is that? I know it's Cerebros, but where is that? So I'm going to have to figure it out. Okay, I've looked at this thing several, several times. And I have no idea where that is on Cerebros. It's, it's literally driving me insane. So I'm going to skip to somewhere else. Maybe sticker 34 right there. That goes here. Seems simple enough. Come on. Yay! Sticker 35, same deal. Just on the opposite side. And that looks like this, by the way. Now for these circles, which are all numbered 43, 44, I believe. No, they are 44. And now I see why this is detachable, so you can get at those easier. And I believe this is a common problem, like, look at this. <laughs> the whole thing came out, so now it's going to be difficult to get the actual sticker off the paper. <sighs> Guess I'm going to try the old-fashioned way of trying to pry my fingernails that I recently cut down in between there because ugh well maybe even the tweezers get in there oh god this is gonna be annoying now, here's something the tweezers should make easy er I don't know, these probably won't be perfectly centered, which hopefully won't bother me, as long as they're in there, and yeah, that's not 100% perfectly centered, and it is bothering me. <laughs> I have one leg down. And if you're actually following along with me, duh, push pause. If I 
skip ahead because I'm going to skip this side too. Now his right leg is done. I think I'm going to skip ahead to sticker 48 here, which goes right in his abdomen section right there. Whew. Looks like it was there the whole time. Sticker 17 apparently goes on his crotch right here. Let's see if I can do this. Seems simple enough. And it has like some slant edges right there. Which actually does help guide you. But like I said, these stickers are sticky. So it's like they're grabbing ahead of schedule. So there you go with that. I know I jumped all over the place, but I'm going to start with the numbers. And all these silver arrows are number one. They go here, and here, and here, and over there, of course. If these are anything like the stickers for um, Metroplex, a lot of these didn't survive. And as I played with Metroplex, I realized they just came right on off. I don't remember them falling off, but I have a lot missing on Metroplex, which sucks. But that is some good, nice reflective detail right there. The back of both arms are done, but guess what? <laughs> the number one stickers aren't done yet. There's some more arrows down here behind his feet, so you have to undo the feet to get to those on both sides right there. Ugh. Oh, you thought you were done? No. There's some right here under these, these guns. I don't see any at the top on the other side, but they're definitely right there, and I do have four more stickers left. Uh, I found them. They're underneath of this piece, which does unsnap. This guy just comes right apart. I I'm so amazed by this. <laughs> he has so many detachable parts on his legs. And I guess they need to be de detachable. So you can get these stickers on here. Like I said, it's nice that they added stickers, but... These things don't have nothing on repro labels. And no, I'm not sponsored by repro labels. I guess I need to figure out how to get this back going here to just clip right back in place. And these are on mushroom pegs right there. So they go right back on too. Sticker number two here is gonna be difficult. It's supposed to go right there on his crotch. And yeah, I, I don't see that being easy. Yeah, I was able to move it over, so that's good enough right there. Sticker number three and four there go here and here, respectively. I didn't quite match it up with that line. This is five and six. And I had to do the same thing that I did over there. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, and ten go here, 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 and here. Seven is shaped like this. So I guess it's still lining up basically here. Yeah. Not perfect. 11 and 12 go right here and there. It doesn't look like that on the instructions, but this is the only place where they can fit perfectly. And while I have you here, that kind of looks like an Autobot symbol or something right there. Yeah. There we go with that. 13, 14, and 15 are right here. These orange bits, they go in this area up here. Let's see. 
I see now. I guess there's supposed to be windows right here. 14 will be in the middle. The 13 and 15 are on the side. Man. The people who put these stickers on before doing the review. I commend you. So I haven't even fully played with this toy yet. I haven't put them in its base mode or anything. I haven't attached the head and pushed this button right here. <sighs> but yeah, I'm liking how I like the way that looks. But what's next? 16 here is under those orange squares and basically that goes right there over this transparent button <sighs> that's gonna have to be good enough sticker 18 is very similar to sticker 1 but they go right here and here on both sides of his shoulders let's see if I can do that reaching over so yeah that was simple enough. Yeah. Have you guys liked my like page on Facebook? I put a video up of me playing Super Mario 3D World. Trying to beat Champions Road, which I haven't been able to do. And while I had a pause, I was whistling that music. That Mario Galaxy music is so infectious. 19 here, this red square that goes on Cerebro, well, Fortress Maximus's head. It goes here, but it it's molded right there, so kind of weird. Looks like it's not really supposed to go there, but okay, whatever. Now we're back to sticker 20, and I swear for the life of me, I do not know what that is. So just by goofy luck, I figured out that this thing is that I've been looking at for number 20 is this little cockpit gun base right there. And the sticker is supposed to go right here. So to reiterate, we're on sticker 20. Oh no, this isn't going to tear right. Oh boy, oh boy. Damn. Oh, oh man. So I guess it's good to have like a box cutter or a, an exacto knife around on you. So let me get that. Oh, I've been doing this for hours. But there you go with that. There are four sticker 21s. And from what I can tell, they go into these indented areas right here on a transparent chest piece. So it'll probably be easier to see on the finished product. These instructions suck. I wish they were in color. I guess you could put it on these perforated parts if you want it, but looking at the diagram, they go here. So, bleh. And they go on the opposite side as well. Sticker 22 and 23 on the other shoulder on the back, they go here in this area. So, yeah, there you go. Same thing on the other side with sticker number 23. This way. Yeah, yeah. Sticker 24 goes right here. So now if you can't see that Autobot logo I don't know if that should have been the opposite way because of his alternate mode, but it's it's going to stay like that. 
25 and 26, they throw a curveball at you. Trying to make you figure out. <laughs> uh, the picture on the back is showing his back. I didn't realize that. So this shoulder right there beside the neck is right here. And that's where 25 and 26 needs to go. Like right there and right there. Now you can do it you see fit, but I put them all the way on the edge right here, up against there, and down against there. I could try to center it, but yeah, I don't have time for that. Now, since this is other shoulder, I'm jumping ahead to number 46 and putting this sticker basically right there. And it's going to go around the blue transparent part right there. So. If you line it up like that, that should be good. And let's open this. Yeah, it, it doesn't interfere. So, that's good. Now we come down to the thighs. 27, 28, 29, and 30 need to go in those spots right there. They're little red stickers. You're going to see them after I put them in. Hold on. Now, these are easier for me to put in with the tweezers, I see. Because it's like lifted, raised up right there. They're, they're all in, so let me move to sticker 31, which has nothing to do with the other side of the legs. It's this cross right here that goes onto his forehead, which Mgo says looks like the Chevy logo, which I'm not going to deny. Now this this is actually kind of difficult to center because oh boy let me try to use the tweezers what they did here is not make the side crosses the same length so I don't know if the middle one is the same length or whatever so, yeah, it seems like just line up the bottom part and then press it. 32 is actually for the middle blue chest button right there. I thought they were going to maybe leave that alone, but I guess not. And that's good. I thought they were going to totally skip this area because your finger has to press there, but... I thought wrong. 33. Looks like it needs to go here. Right there. We're gonna be right here. Yep. Got it. 34 and 5 are these stickers in the opposite. 36 from what I can see is for the little helipad cannon thing right here. I'm going to line it up right here which seems to be the best idea. Yeah. 37, 38, 39, and 40 are finally these stickers right here on its other thigh. And there's the finished product there. You cannot, can't, because of the way they reflect, you can almost not even tell they were hit. There are four sticker 41s, and they are for the cannons. It's a darker blue up here and lighter down there. The lighter, according to the box, is supposed to go towards the tip of the cannons, I guess, to make it look like the power is fueling up to the front. And unfortunately, they don't line all the way up to the top. So, that kind of looks a little bit weird. Same deal on the other side. Sticker 42 is for his toesies down here. They basically, it looks easy enough, but 
I'm gonna try to grab right here in the center. The tough part is getting these top ridges underneath of the matching ridges on his toe. You know what? Maybe I'll do the tweezers because it's just not working for me. Yeah, there we go with that. So, stop trying to use your hands like my crazy self. And use the tweezers. And we got booth twosies on there. Sticker 43 is the same deal as sticker 44. Put the little circles right there. But they're a little bit smaller than the ones on the back of his legs. It may be easier to get to the circles if you lift this little back flap up. And definitely use tweezers. And maybe a Q-tip instead of scraping that like I just did. <sighs> and they're done. 44 are the back of his legs, the circles. We can jump to 45. Which are these pieces right here that goes on both sides of his feet. You know what the crazy thing is? These stickers are awesome, but they look like they're supposed to be there in the first place. Which I guess is a good thing. They don't just look like stickers. They look like actual deco. But I, I wish maybe they came pre-applied. But I guess for the cost of this thing, you might want to have the most fun you can possibly have with it. And if they take this part away, that will take some of the play value away. And they definitely want to give you play value. So, there's that. We already did 46 right here on his shoulder. 47 is the Autobot logo on Cerebros' chest. 48 is that Autobot symbol. 49 and 50 is this area and that area, respectively. Basically... You're going to take this and put it in that corner the best you can. That was kind of easy, but I hope I don't mess up the other side because I like to keep it as symmetrical as I possibly can. Yeah. And oof. I didn't realize it, but oh man. 50 was the last one. So now the last thing I have to do is put these leg guards back on, which will probably be easier said than done. And I'm noticing that this guy is freaking back heavy. It's not good. Not good at all. That was easy. And you can't see what I'm seeing, but these lights down there, they're, they're reflecting green and blue. That's that's really cool. So this would be this way with the little connector points on the inside. Uh, I guess it should go in on this side first. Then wrap around. And I didn't realize that he does have little crappy wheels. Now to form the head, like Voltron. Yeah. Shoot that Decepticon. So, yeah. If you watch this whole thing, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Here we have Fortress Maximus. All prepared for my chill review, which you probably watched first. But if you watched this, thank you for watching it. 
if this helped you in any type of way because maybe you lost your instructions but you have the sticker sheet or maybe you just needed help with placement and whatnot i hope this was able to help you oh boy this literally literally took me like four hours i mean i did throw some laundry in here and there and, and eat a little tiny bit but four hours have passed oh man I hope people watch this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you look in the link below. Look in the description below for the link for the main show review. If you haven't already watched that. But thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing, sharing, and commenting. T-Man978 out of here.